Hi everybody, I'm Scooby Steve. Welcome to a new weekly vlog series that I'm wanting to have on the go here. Um, I'll be doing, I'll be, for this series, I'll be keeping quiet Monday to Friday looking at the news uh, in the world, in the internet and on YouTube right here. And I will be looking at what kind of topic I want to talk about, what topic might seem the most relevant um, <clears throat> and the most talkative. Uh, and I will, during the course of a Saturday and Sunday, record, produce and put out a weekly vlog talking about one particular subject. Um, to start off um, this weekly vlogging series, one of the biggest topics right now, Logan Paul. Yes, if enough videos haven't been made about him already, please, trust me when I say this, I am... Um, Oh my god, I could... Ugh, I don't... There are words that I cannot describe just how... Um, speechless I am. And just how riled up the entire subject gets me. Because um, if... If you may let me get you up to speed. If you've been living under a rock for the last week. Or if you've been too drunk to remember what's been happening this last week. Because you've still been celebrating New Year's Day. Let me get you up to speed. Uh, US um, YouTuber Logan Paul. Who was a former Vine celebrity before Vine closed its shutters. Um, in, and he moved across to YouTube. And with a... Uh, with a massive following of 15 million YouTube followers as of right now, uh, <clears throat> he has been wanting to do daily vlogs, and he's had members of the Low Gang um, help him out, and he is right now, uh, I don't know where he is right now, whether he's back home in the US uh, because of this entire incident, or he's still in Japan, but um, for the first locations he's went to is Japan to start filming these daily vlogs and he goes to Japan's suicide forest which is in the northwestern foot of Mount Fuji in Japan. Now this is where things get crazy because Logan Paul um, enters the suicide forest and he comes across a deceased body. He comes across a deceased person, a dead body hanging from a tree. Now, he doesn't do what myself, my family, my friends, my work colleagues, everybody else in the world would do. Uh, he does not turn off the cameras, he does not stop recording, he does not get in touch with the local police immediately. Um, <clears throat> he instead um, starts joking about it, getting up close with the cameras to the corpse. I'm not going to show any footage because A, I don't have any footage, and B, I really don't want to. It's I've seen the original video and it's just... Oh, oh no. Never. <clears throat> he gets up close with the body and he blurs out only the face. You can still see the purple colouring on the hands. You can tell... This man has just hung himself within the last 24 hours of this video being recorded and Logan stumbling across him. And Logan jokes about it. He laughs about it. And it's disrespectful to, to those who... To me, um, it's, I see it as disrespectful to the... <clears throat> to the Japanese culture, um, it's disrespectful to the deceased's family and friends, it's disrespectful in general. Uh, to me, from how this looks, um, and from the knowledge that I have with depression, um, and the fact that a one of the leading causes of suicide is depression. This is probably the most likely cause of this man hanging himself in the forest. Depression. So if Logan Paul is making jokes and laughing about this deceased man, he 
from my perspective, and by extension, it's making jokes and laughing about depression. And we all know that ain't funny. Not one bit. Suicide, depression, that is not funny. Not one bit. <clears throat> the video hits number one trending on YouTube. Not only that, it garners about 6.5 million hits before Logan Paul voluntarily takes it down. Logan Paul uh, voluntarily takes this video down after it garners 6.5 million hits and it hits number one trending on YouTube's front page. Um, it was not YouTube that took this video down, it was Logan Paul, a member of YouTube's hero program whose primary job is to flag inappropriate content and have YouTube manually review these, this content, did so with Logan Paul's video and uh, it f and they found um, they found that the video did not need to be edge-gated, it did not need to be restricted, it did not need to be tampered with in any manner whatsoever. It, it was 100% um, advertiser-friendly. So much so that YouTube themselves put it on number one trending. <clears throat> And the trending algorithm, there's no such thing. It's people at YouTube's offices that handpick the trending videos. I see a spot of favouritism. Because Logan Paul takes down that video, he goes onto Twitter with a, um, like a, an iPhone notes apology, um, which talks about him doing a 15 minute TV show for 460 plus days, uh, which sounds like him bragging. He also goes into about how he didn't do this video for the views, he gets views, it's another brag. Aaron Paul and Sophie Turner are two big celebrities that have dived in at him after he put this written apology up onto Twitter. Um, links to their responses um, will be in the description below. <clears throat> Logan Paul um, basically got hacked to pieces by everybody on the internet for doing this. Not just celebrities, but other YouTubers have lit their torches and are throwing pitchforks at them. They're also targeting YouTube because YouTube actually did not do anything about this even when it was highlighted by one of the members of their very own hero program. And it's absolutely insane. <clears throat> uh, my apologies for the, uh, for the throat. Uh, anyway, Logan Paul then makes a second apology, this time a video, and he uploads it to his uh, channel, uh, where he, call, uh, he basically says, yes, I've made a continuous lapse in judgment. My actions do not deserve to be defended. Please do not defend them. And yet there are people in the low gang wearing Mavericks merch um, who are saying that Logan Paul is 100% in the right. I take it that if it's 100% okay, this is a message to all the low gangers out there in the world. I want you to answer me this question with 110% honesty. If it, is on, if it is completely okay in your eyes for Logan Paul to laugh at a dead man, would, I be, would it be 100% okay to you if your, God forbid, I'm going to touch wood here, if God forbid one of your family members passed away and I made jokes about it to you? Think of it like that, Logangers. This is deadly serious what Logan Paul has done. Let it sink in. If, Log if you believe that it's okay for Logan Paul, a human being like yourself and myself, to laugh and make jokes about a dead person who has most likely died from depression, then in your eyes, it is probably... It should be okay for me, another human being, like Logan Paul, 
to make jokes about your deceased family members. Which, I'm actually a good person. I would never do that. Why? Because I have decency. I have a sense of decency. I have a sense of respect. That apparently Logan Paul did not show. And that you think, oh, that's okay if he disrespects a dead person and their family. Like I said, this topic gets me riled up. I don't know if YouTube will... <clears throat> Excuse me for the throat again. I don't know if YouTube will do anything to Logan Paul like they did to PewDiePie, where PewDiePie dropped a hard R N bomb while live streaming on YouTube on their website, uh, a game of uh, Players Unknown Battlegrounds. He dropped a hard R N bomb, and what happens? He loses his contract with Disney. <laughs> YouTube cancels Scare PewDiePie season two. I don't know what will happen if the same will happen to Logan Paul. I believe the same should happen to Logan Paul. He should get dropped by his network. He should not be allowed to have a YouTube Red show or production. Because laughing and cracking jokes about a dead man, to me, puts me on the, puts you on the same level as dropping a hard R N bomb. During a gaming live stream. I may forgive you in time. But I will still point it out to you. That you messed up. Because you need to realise that. Yes. You messed up. You've made a mistake. You need to constantly remember your, remember to yourself. You made a mistake. So that you could constantly learn from it. And learn from new perspectives about it. <clears throat> I feel like a broken wreckage here. Like I said, this gets me riled up. I don't know what else is going to happen. I know that as of this recording, it's came out that Maverick Apparel over in um, over in the US, another clothing company, is going to sue Logan Paul if he doesn't respond in the next seven days about his Maverick merchandise clothing line. Um, that's about it I'm not going to go into Jake Paul he's going to be a topic for another time for another week if he decides to do something just as equally as stupid as his brother um, doing the I lost my virginity video um, is a clickbait thing I'm sorry but that's not big especially when I know that he especially when a video came up that was recorded, a video was just emerged that was recorded months ago, about nine, ten months ago during Coachella, where Jake Paul um, did a freestyle rap and he dropped the end bomb numerous times in this video. Yeah. Racist much? Yeah. I've got a feeling that nothing is going to happen to the Jake Paul to Jake Paul and Logan Paul. I feel that YouTube is going to do nothing because of their main demographic, which is children. PewDiePie was able to get dropped like that in the blink of an eye because his demographic was, at the time, uh, close to, if not just, over the 50 million subscribers, which is a far larger demographic uh, and audience to cater to than to Jake and Logan Paul's like 10 mil or 15 million subscribers. I know that because the two of them were involved with Disney, um, their main demographics has been children. But I know that because PewDiePie likes... PewDiePie is a great A entertainer. He likes to cater for everybody. He like he enjoys doing that. He likes to cater to everyone, not just kids, but the adults as well. Which is why he's done some edgy stuff since drop since, since being dropped by YouTube and Disney. I respect them for that. I didn't used to respect them much going through high school, but I do respect them now because I'm seeing a different side to him now that I've matured and I can see him, <laughs> and I can see him. Um, being more open because he's 
not as restricted as he was when he was with Disney. I don't think I've got much else to say now, but uh, yes, please. Um, just stay tuned. You can check out my social links below, my Facebook, my Twitter. I might do something with my Patreon at some point. I might not. Um, we just need to see what happens uh, in terms of what's going to happen to the channel. I need to do a vlog at some point, a proper vlog out with this weekly series to go into a little more detail about my thoughts of, of where I want to take the channel and what I need to do to keep the channel rolling. Uh, this is hopefully one of the cogs that's going to start turning and keep the channel going. And I've just loved the last few months seeing you guys come in in steady, in steady waves. And seeing the view counter go up and up and up, it's just been absolutely amazing. I can do so much more to... I can I could have so much more input in this, and I've, I'm going to. I promise. <laughs> I want to have more input with you guys. I promise that will happen. Um, but I think I've said all I need to say right now. If there's anything else that needs to come up, then sure enough, I'll probably address it in a quick vlog um, before I get, like, if before the chance comes up for me to do a proper vlog going in depth about the channel. Okay. If you like this, leave a comment. I'll hit the like button. I don't know whether I should ask you to, to subscribe to me. I don't want to be like a subscribe hog. I don't want to be, I don't want to sound desperate for subscribers. It's just, I don't want to be that guy who always asks you to drop a like or always subscribe to me and always keep your notifications going. I don't want to be that guy. So just, if you do like it, right, drop the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification if you're really really looking forward to new content from me if you don't want to subscribe you don't need to i'm not gonna force you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just jump through your pc monitor and hold you up against the wall until and scream subscribe to me at you constantly until you do so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i love a free world but yeah if you don't want to subscribe to me but you feel you just want to have some input, feel free to comment below. You can catch me on Twitter, catch me on Facebook. And I hope to see you all again sometime soon. Hopefully next week. Peace!